Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, new moon reading for Aries. Uh, so this is the new moon that's occurring um, on January 2nd in Capricorn. Um, you can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So we're going to take a look at, you know, your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect surrounding this new moon. Um, so feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. Um, you could switch the roles if you want, if there's more than one person showing up in the reading. Uh, these are general messages, so just take what applies, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified uh, on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, if you guys, um, oh, and for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Aries, so let's get started. We're going to pull some oracle cards from the Moonology Manifestation deck, and then we'll get into the tarot, okay? Um, what messages do we have for Aries regarding this new moon occurring on January 2nd, 2022? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Guys, this could be in anything, okay? Anything. Nothing specific. We'll see what the cards pick out or, or come out with or say. What messages do we have for Aries regarding this new moon in Capricorn occurring on January 2nd, 2022? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What does Aries need to know? What can Aries expect here? All right, first quarter moon in Gemini, speak, speak your world into being. Okay, let's see, I'm trying to see. That is the throat chakra. Okay, sort of speaking your truth here, okay? Um, perhaps you're unblocking that. Perhaps you're trying to heal that. Um, Perhaps there are some blockages uh, where you're having a hard time speaking the truth and you're trying to clear that out. Um, let's just see. Could be dealing with a Gemini in and around you. You might have Gemini in your chart. Uh, unleash your kindest self. So this is, um, we have this, it's so hard to see. This is, I can't, I mean, I have vision problems. So this is a solar plexus chakra here. So this is right here. This is like where your confidence is stored, your willpower, you know? Um, so let's see, what else what do we have here? We have step up and lead, more Capricorn energy. So um, Aries, you could have some Capricorn in your chart or that you could be dealing with Capricorn, Gemini in and around you. Trust all will be well on the bottom of the deck, Virgo. Could be dealing with a Virgo here. You know, I feel like, you know, I feel like speaking your truth is being kind to yourself because you're allowing yourself to be known, you know, what your boundaries are, you know, what you can accept and what you can't. Okay. So, you know, if people can't handle that, you know, they're not really meant to be in your life. And those can that can are meant to stay. So I'm feeling like the cards are saying basically just step up and say it, you know, and that things will be okay. So let's see what else we have here. What else do we have for Aries regarding this new moon in Capricorn occurring uh, on January 2nd, 2022? What else do we have here? Tell me about speak your world into being here. Two of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. You know, I feel like there is this, uh, there's a, I, I feel like there's a struggle here. You know, there's this back and forth weighing in the pros and the cons. You know, Aries are known to be truth speakers. You know, they don't have a trouble. They don't have any trouble speaking the truth. So, I mean, I'm an Aries myself, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty direct. I don't sugarcoat anything. 
But, uh, you know, the blocked throat chakra could be from, uh, you know, past traumas that has occurred in uh, your life, maybe in the past life here too, you know? So, you know, the blockages could be, you know, being silenced when you were young or something like that. You know, if you spoke the truth, you know, you got in trouble. Um, so I feel like you need to, I feel like with the Unleash Your Kind of Self, the solar plexus chakra, you know, um, there's a lack of confidence. Yeah, there's a lack of confidence in speaking your truth. So let's see what else we have here. You know, Aries, this could be you, this could be someone else, okay? So just apply this to your own unique situation. Maybe this is someone that you know that's going through this. You know, it could be a partner, an ex, a friend, a family member, a co-worker. What else do we need to know here? Unless you're, unleash your kind self. We have the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Cups. You know, I feel like, you know, through speaking the truth, you know, like I said, you suffered some losses here. People, you know, friends, family, they couldn't handle it. You know, and I feel like maybe that keeps you from speaking up. Because I feel like you don't want to lose people or you could be in this energy of like people pleasing and you know, you don't, you don't, you don't want people walking out of your life. Okay. So Aries, keep in mind, like I said, uh, if this doesn't have to be you, I'm just speaking from the perspective of you, but you could apply this to your own unique situation. Okay. This could be someone that you know that's going through this. Step up and leave. Tell me about that. Uh, we have the Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups, okay? So Aries, I'm getting that you're really sensitive, okay? We have the Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You can have any of those energies in your chart. I feel like there's a fear of not being liked by others or loved by others. You know, that doesn't, like I said, if people can't handle the truth, then, you know, it's not really your problem. They could walk out of your life if they want, or they could stick around. It's really up to them. Um, two of Pentacles and Four of Wands. We have the Page of Cups here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I feel like we have someone here that has had some sort of emotional uh, uh, trauma from their home life in the past here. Because I'm getting, you know, maybe, you know, a father figure, you know, was very emotionally abusive. Maybe this person you know, didn't allow you to speak or allow you to speak your feelings here because I'm getting a lot of sensitivity here, uh, uh, Aries. Ten of Swords and the Seven of Cups. We have the Devil here, Capricorn energy. Could be dealing with the, lots of Capricorn energy here. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn in and around you. You might have Capricorn in your chart or multiple Capricorn placements in your chart. Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Wands. You know, I feel like through what you've been through here, I feel like you haven't been able to allow people to love you because I feel like you're really guarded. I mean, you have the devil card here, so I feel like it's tr this trauma really, really hasn't been dealt with. You know, I feel like we have someone here that could be very emotionally shut off or just emotionally unavailable for anybody. And I feel like Aries, you yearn for that, but you're unable to give that. Um, Oh, even though I'm seeing you, like I said, keep in mind, this is just a general reading. You could switch to roles if you want. This is someone that you could uh, know that's going through this. What else do we have here for Aries? We have the Three of Cups. I'm getting a very anxious energy when you surround yourself with people. Sometimes I'm getting like, we have someone here that doesn't really know what to say or want to step in to say something. Uh, the devil, we have judgment here. Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy, seven of wands, and then the king of pentacles. There's some sort of something here going on with uh, uh, parental figures here, I feel, okay? Yeah, there's this like stuck and stagnant energy where we have someone here that's having a hard time moving on from um, some childhood trauma. Like I said, um, if you don't treat it, if you don't heal from it, uh, you know, the energy doesn't really move. It stays stagnant and stuck. Um, so, 
you know, what you don't heal, what you don't learn from, you don't really grow in and you grow and evolve. And I feel like with judgment, I feel like your guides and your angels are calling you to do this. What else do we have? Oh, we have the world. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, Aries, I think you, I think with this new year starting here, especially this new moon being on the second day of the year, it's time to shut out these cycles here. These unhealthy cycles that you've been in. You know, I feel like, you know, through your experiences, you know, your relationships could have suffered with your family, with your friends, maybe with work, with other people. Five of Cups. Yeah, it's time to face, so, so we have someone here that needs to face their pain here, okay? Someone here needs to face their pain. I just feel like we have someone here that just, just keeps looking back, looking back at the past and not really doing anything to move on from it or make changes. So let's see. You know, the Six of Pentacles, it's time to balance out those scales because regarding your emotions, I feel... You know, it's sort of like down here and, you know, it's there's a bit of an imbalance here. There's an imbalance with your solar plexus, your confidence, your, with your confidence. So you're unable to speak up. What else do we have here? And then the Ace of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords here. You know, the Knight of Swords is a very quick energy. It's sort of like a do-it energy sort of thing instead of, like, sitting on it. Yeah, I, I mean, let's see, we have Temperance here. I think it's, yeah, like I said, it's time to heal from those uh, uh, traumas that you've been through here. Basically start all over again. I mean, this is this, this is for the second day of the year. Um, so yeah, I, I think, I think I am feeling like, you know, it's time to close out those cycles and really, you know, speak your truth here. Yeah. Speak your truth here. Yeah. What you don't speak on, it, it, it won't come into being, you know, speak your world into being. So, um, so Aries, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, bye guys.